What exactly is an AI model? We keep hearing about AI models everywhere these days. Let's break this down for starters. To understand how AI works in an enterprise, think of it as five macro layers. One, the base model. This is the core intelligence, the brain trained on what to do and how to do. But by itself, it does not know your organization's data. That's where the second layer comes in, the enterprise context or RAG. This is where you inject your company's knowledge into the base model so it can act with context. And then comes the orchestration logic, the third layer. Here you design the workflows and automation steps that tell the AI when and how to perform tasks. And finally, the fourth layer, licensing and hosting. This layer deals with the governance, legal, IT security and cost rules for hosting and using AI responsibly. Finally, the fifth layer, the topmost, this is where users interact through chatbots, voice agents, etc. So the base model plus enterprise context plus orchestration logic together form the intelligence core. The part people casually call these days as AI models, even though technically the model alone is just the base layer. Enterprise AI is quite literally like a pizza. Just like a pizza is built layer by layer, your enterprise AI stack also comes in layers. Now on top of these layers, a new set of semantics is emerging. Open source, open weight, and open API. These terms define how much flexibility and control you have over each layer. Open source AI is like getting the entire pizza cookbook along with all the ingredients and you do everything yourself, right? From kneading the dough to baking the final pizza. You have full control and full visibility at every stage. At the base model level, this means you can actually shape how the AI learns. For example, you can change its initial setup, feed its new examples, or even adjust the way it understands patterns so it works exactly the way you want. This gives you maximum flexibility, but it also means more effort, more skills needed, and often a higher cost. Open weight AI is like getting a high quality frozen pizza. The base recipe and the cookie methods are already logged in. You cannot change it. The base model itself or how it is hosted under the hood. So the core intelligence stays the same, but you can add your own toppings in AI terms. That means that you can feed it with your enterprise data, design your workflows and customize how it works to your business. Open weight AI is like human brain, not a single blob, but made of different parts. Some parts like training data and training pipeline are locked. You can't see how the brain was originally trained or what you do get are the pre-trained weights, the learned intelligence, so you can quickly use it, fine-tune it, and build on top of it. Finally, open API AI is like ordering pizza at a restaurant. You just eat and pay. Minimal flexibility, maximum convenience, and super quick. Open source, open weight, and open API offer a spectrum of cost, flexibility, and resilience to design the most optimal enterprise AI. Not the biggest one, but the one that truly fits the purpose. For more such simple explainers on tech, follow Sensei.